So in case you haven't noticed, there has been a lot more NFL talk this week, and not because of the games. It's the Taylor Swift effect. This morning we have the perfect person to break down some oh, stats we? on Swelsey. Maybe he's not the perfect person. <laughs> NBC News national political correspondent Steve Kornacki joins us. And Tell. listen, here's the deal. Steve just said he didn't know before this week who, who Taylor Swift was. was because he said, was she an actress? Was she a musician? And I said to Chanel, have you ever looked at Steve Kornacki's Instagram? It is pictures of trees <laughs> and lakes <laughs> and but mountains. How, but how, I mean, I live under a rock, but you're like rock rock. But it's okay, because we have you. I knew she was prominent. I'll put it that way. I just never, I never heard it. the name I love it. Before, yeah, but, but just didn't know all about her. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. Let's start with the game itself. So yeah. we have the Chiefs facing, facing off against the Jets. What do we need to know? X's and O, Y. Yeah, so Why? if we get away from the uh, the the yeah. music we'll star the element ball. for a minute, because I know a lot of people care. We'll get okay. back to it. Don't At worry, the everybody. start of this year, people had this matchup, Sunday Night Circle. Aww. This was going to be huge. Patrick Mahomes, he is he's won two Super Bowls. Aaron mm. Rodgers coming from the Packers to the Jets. Look at these career stats between the mm. two of them. Rodgers almost 60,000 yards. Career QB ratings for both of them over 100. This looked like it could be the matchup of the season. Yes. A possible AFC championship preview in September and instead. Wah, wah. Well, fourth <laughs> play of the season, Aaron Rodgers goes down. Zach Wilson comes in, and no offense to Zach Wilson, but this is not quite the same matchup. No. Here's career stats. 17 touchdowns, 22 picks, a QB wow. rating under 70. The Jets, in fact, brought a new quarterback in this week who's on their practice squad. Wow. So they may be changing things. Joe Namath, legend icon of the mm -hmm. franchise, yep. led them to their only Super Bowl. He's been publicly critical this week. So wow. the whole thing with the Jets falling apart on the field. So maybe they'll like this as a distraction then, maybe. Well, you know what they want. They want Swellsy. Swell, what is it called? Trailer. The ratings up. You never fail to impress or surprise, but I have no idea how you're going to break this down. Well, I would just say, this was the pairing everybody was originally into. It was the mahomes Rogers pairing. Yes. And the one that's getting all the attention this week <laughs> is the Kelsey <laughs> Swift music star. Oh, my goodness. Taylor he Swift. Knows. And the fans, I've learned, are called the Swifties. Yes. yes. I my, I I've it. done my research. So okay. how about a little comparison here? Okay. Both share the same birth year. Taylor Swift, did you know that? I didn't know that. I'm sure you did, but I didn't. Uh, no, wait. I she didn't has a that. song or an album that called yes. 1989. Yes. So, and they're both born in 89. Oh, wow. She's got 16 year the career here, 12 Grammy so wins. <laughs> two, I'm giving it a positive thing here. 212 <laughs> Billboard Top 100s. And of course, Kelsey, That's, he's had those two great, Super Steve. Bowls, 800, and he's eight Pro Bowl appearances. So, if it is. I don't know if they've officially said it's a pairing, but if it is a pairing, it's quite a match. There you go. That I, that's good. actually really that good. That was great. All right, last but not least, we're thinking everybody always thinks about the Super Bowl. What about for you? What's our last little tidbit? Well, we came on here a few weeks ago at the start of the season and said, what are the odds? Who are the favorites here to win the Super Bowl? Let's okay. take a look at how that is looking right now. Here are your current odds to win the Super Bowl, and the 49ers have been off to that great start. They have become the favorites. The Chiefs were the preseason favorite. Okay. They had the hiccup week one. They lost to the Lions, but they've looked good since then. The Eagles have looked fantastic, 7-1. to one. And how about the Look Miami Dolphins? All right. Tua, the quarterback, All right. absolutely. They put up 70 points on Sunday against Denver. So they have moved to the fourth choice, only 9-1 to one on the Dolphins, one of the biggest movements we've seen since the preseason. Impressive as always. Yeah. Didn't fail to impress. We love you. Who well, doesn't? Now I've learned about Taylor Swift. No, so I can join the too. rest of the country. Listen, she loves you too. This, that's the beauty of life. We just continue to evolve and learn new <laughs> things. Thank you, Steve. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.